India under the leadership of Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi has demonstrated on world stage its commitment to environment protection. In the year 2016, the Government of India decided to prepone the implementation of Bharat Stage 6 emission standards by a year to April 2020 to demonstrate this commitment. We propose to seek to BS6 fuel by April 2020 which is equivalent to the Euro 6 standards. Our refineries are undergoing massive upgradation. They are on target to meet the ambitious deadlines to provide clean fuel. The sulfur content in petrol and diesel under the BS6 standard is lower by five times and reduces the environment pollution significantly. ONGC MRPL's BS6 upgradation project is one such initiative of the Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas that enables it to produce BS6 autofuels and caters to domestic demand. Executed at an expense of Rs 1,829 crores, this project has generated 23,43,771 man days of employment. Today, with the dedication of BS6 upgradation project to the nation by our Prime Minister, India has taken another step in emerging as a world leader in environment protection efforts. Prime Minister of India's dream of Atmanirbhar Bharat calls for a self-reliant India which doesn't depend on others for its sustenance and development. Refineries processing crude oil and producing autofuels to meet the energy needs of the nation play a vital role in fulfilling this dream. To reduce MRPL's dependency on rainfall, it initiated Karnataka's first seawater desalination project at Tanirbavi, Mangalore. Executed at a capitalized cost of Rs 677 crores, this project has generated 3,60,948 man days of employment. This plant produces 30 million litres per day of desalinated water, conserving fresh water resources. The uninterrupted production and supplies of autofuels and petrochemicals needed for the growth of the economy is now ensured through this landmark project. Today, as our Honourable Prime Minister dedicates this project to the nation, India has taken another step towards Atmanirbhar Bharat.